The union cabinet approved the new National Education Policy, NEP, on July 29 and renamed the HRD, Ministry as Education. The existing NEP was framed in 1986 and revised in 1992. The committee which suggested changes in the education system under the NEP, was headed by former ISRO chief K. Kasturirungan. New system of education, the 10 plus 2 system will be divided into 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 format. This means the first five years of the school, will comprise of the foundation stage including three years of pre-primary school and classes 1 and class 2. The next three years, will be divided into a preparatory stage, from classes 3 to 5. Later three years of middle stage, classes 6 to 8, and four years of secondary stage, classes 9 to 12. No rigid separation between commerce, arts and science streams. Schools will not have any rigid formation of streams of arts, commerce, science. Students can take up whichever courses they want. For example, fashion studies with astronomy. Mathematical thinking, scientific temper to be part of course. Co-curriculum subjects like sports, vocational, arts, commerce, science, everything will be at the same level. Students can opt for courses as per choice. Students to be allowed to take up coding from class 6. Here are some other major reforms in new NEP. 1. The ministry has allocated 6% of GDP as public investment in the education sector in India, up from 4.43%. 2. The world's top 100 foreign universities will be facilitated to operate in India through a new law. 3. Curricula of all the higher education institutions shall include credit-based courses and projects in the areas of community engagement and service, environmental education, and value-based education. 4. An Academic Bank of Credit ABC, shall be established which would digitally store the didemic credits earned from various recognized highs. 5. By 2040, all higher education institutions highs, shall aim to become multidisciplinary institutions, each of which will aim to have 3,000 or more students. 6. Students who wish to pursue research can do it without MPhil. All courses at UG, PG, PhD level to be interdisciplinary. 7. Departments in languages, literature, music, philosophy, indology, art, dance, theater, education, mathematics, statistics, pure and applied sciences, sociology, economics, sports, translation and interpretation, etc. will be established and strengthened at all higher educatio institutes. 8. Even engineering institutions, such as IITs, will move towards more holistic and multidisciplinary education with more arts and humanities. Students of arts and humanities will aim to learn more science and all will make an effort to incorporate more vocational subjects and soft skills. 9. All the board exams will be held in two languages. Each subject offered in the board exam will have an objective, as well as description exam. Moreover, board exams are to be based on knowledge application. 10. Home language, mother tongue or regional language to be medium of instruction up to class 5. The NEP aims to universalize primary education, 3 to 6 years in the country in the next 5 years. It also aims to provide a foundational literacy and numeracy for all by 2025. Multiple exit options in UG degree com the undergraduate degree will be of either three or four year duration, with multiple exit options. After completing one year, a student will get a certificate in a discipline or field including vocational and professional areas, a diploma if a student leaves after two years of study, or a bachelor's degree after a three-year program. The four-year multidisciplinary bachelor's program, however, shall be the preferred option and will give degree with research if a student has pursued a project along with it.